I've been asked several times over the years uh, about alternatives to a, to a button pass. A button pass is merely when a set of logs is merely butted an end to a side that uh, we're looking at it laid flat. That's what it would look like kind of upright. It, that's probably the the simplest of all manufactured log corner joinery but it it does have some inherent uh, issues uh, one being if this surface ever changes shape you end up with with a, a less than stellar mate a mating seam across here so I had a client recently who has uh, stirred my interest into uh, maybe presenting some some alternatives to that. I did a video not long ago on this jig here, uh, which has been relatively, relatively unchanged since that video. But if you can imagine a log inserted into a jig like this with a set of patterns that will put a straight notch through the side of a log. Now, I'm going to grab this double rounded log just to illustrate that it really doesn't matter the shape of the log because what we're attempting to do here is just put a notch into the side. This width and depth can be controlled by, by patterns like these. This one's a little larger than the one that's, that's already on the jig. So that's, uh, that's an optional feature. The depth would depend on how deeply into the log you wanted to go with a notch. Uh, a minimum would of course be any features on the log, whether it be a round or in some cases going into the side of the log at least deep as deep as the chamfer here so that when the logs are buttered together we don't have any clear uh, passageway through the, through the joint. So getting a notch in the side of a log is really not an issue. It's pretty simple uh, depending on the uh, width and depth of our profile templates. The chainsaw then with the chainsaw attachment on it uh, can hog that uh, notch out. So what about the tenon on the end of the log that's going to be used to go in that notch? I have some geese helping me out today. This kind of a jig, this particular one's an 8x8, which you do, well, 4x8, 6x8, 8x8. Uh, on this illustration of a round and round log, a tenon can very easily be put on the end of a log to match the tenon width with the notch width. Now going back to uh, a template here, this is going to be a little large. But let's say the, the notch is fashioned like this. Uh, then the tenon can very easily be put into the side of that log. Uh, the, the fit here is going to be dependent on the size of tenon we make and also the size of the pocket that it's going to go into. Uh, very easy to make that notch uh, so snug that you're going to take, uh, it's going to take a big a wooden commander or sledgehammer to uh, to get them together or loose to where you've got some flexibility on a 90 degree corner. But this uh, this is a tenon jig. There's uh, several different patterns that would control the shape of this tenon. I particularly like a rounded shouldered pattern like that. The reason being if we're going to make an attempt to, to man make a, a tenon feature on the end of a log, the rounded features give you a nice, uh, a nice pattern. Let me set this down here a minute and go back out here in the sun. The, uh, the rounded feature gives you a nice uh, uh, an artistic look to it. And with the log, the notch of the, this, this length, uh, uh, again, can be controlled. But let's say that our logs, the side of our log, is right here and our notch is only this deep 
and that's how deep our tenon is, or maybe slightly shorter. There's some flexibility on how far into the notch this needs to go in order to get you a nice fit here. So there's there's some flexibility in that corner, and even though this uh, this passing log uh, might deface or deform a little bit on the say on the on the face, the width of this notch is what's really controlling the fit. So there's a lot of flexibility in, in the way that corner would go together. It would allow all the log courses to be on, uh, on the same uh, course level. You wouldn't need to start with a half log like you do in a saddle notch or a, or a dovetail type pattern. But you can begin to see uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a, a, a defaced log like these or a round faced log like the one I was using to, to illustrate the, the notch with. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter, which means also that you could do a T-wall intersection, have a notch on each side of the log with a tenon going into the side. I think it gives you a nice look to it. Uh, it's secure. It's, uh, it's really an, it's an alternative to, uh, to a button pass. So there you have it. You would have two different jigs. You'd have one for the tenon with a pattern of your choice. This, that rounded pattern is pretty easy to, to, to fashion as well. Here you just have two cuts to get that block out. On a rounded pattern, you would go down so far and then do a 45 in there and then hog that out to where it starts following the contour. My dog also wants to get into movies. Anyway, there's some jig alternatives for a button pass. I'll put this vid together, uh, send it up to, up, up to Virginia. See if that helps with the, the inquiry.